Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. This is what we're making today. So you can see it's a shaker, um, but not only that, but these stars, they spin. So when you're blowing it out on the birthday cake, it's just another like interactive piece, which I love. And it moves and it's just, I, I love it. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, so this is what it looks like done in, in um, design space, but I'll show you all the, all the different ways to do it. I did go out of my comfort zone to make this. Um, I had to use um, Inkscape more than I normally would because I wanted to, I wanted the offset, but I also knew that I needed to, I needed to make everything connect. So uh, some of the letters needed to be up a little bit, some need to be down. So I couldn't just get an offset. I needed to make sure that everything fit. Um, so I, I actually pieced it together in Inkscape. So it was new for me. This will be the second time that I've done it because I did it for this and then now I'm gonna show you. So hopefully it's a little bit more smoothly than the first time. All right, so let me show you a couple of things, the fonts, because I always get questions on my fonts. I love Creative Fabrica. Yes, I'm an affiliate. So I do get paid when you use my links. But this is why I love um, Creative Fabrica. The amount of fonts available, hands down, so much better than Design Space. So you could, this font um, is $20. I know it's a lot. Um, it includes the commercial license. Um, or you can choose to get their subscription. So it's like a membership like Design Space Access. Um, but here is why I used to always advocate for Design Space Access because it's this great library. I don't need to clean up any files or download. I could just go in there and, and use images, use fonts, but I've come to realize the fonts, uh, the selection is not that great. And, um, it's great for print, but nothing like, you know, like they don't have these cute little fonts in there. But with the images, now that I'm in love with offsetting everything, I feel like it really does add to your projects. Well, you can't take those images out of design space into Inkscape to create the offset. So that's why I do love Creative Fabrica because they have fonts and images and just files in general that you can, you can, um, download and use but what's great is because you download you can upload it into inkscape create the offset do your um do your thing so if you do go with the um with the membership please use a useless the useless crafter 30 you get 30 percent off the membership every month so all right that's my spiel i love this thing i also downloaded the moon from here because the moon's not a big deal, but I couldn't get the moon out of design space, right? So I did just download this because I have a membership. So I now use all my fonts and all my images from Creative Fabrica. Ah, okay. Let's go into Inkscape. Well, let's go into Font Pad though. Font Lab Pad, yes. So if you use this, which I highly recommend, it's free, just Google it and search for the free one. Um, Look how it types, right? So all my letters connect, even for the print I use it because it the spacing is better than it is in design space. I feel like in design space, even for um, print letters, the spacing is really far. And I've seen a lot of people just decrease the letter space, but they're not all even. So even as you decrease it, Two letters can touch over here, but these two still have a gap. So it, it helps, but it doesn't fix your problem. So this is super fast if you were doing a list, uh, lots of names, whatever. I love using this. Okay, so once you type this in, and I think I did little, little had a capital letter as well as star. So just save as, then we go into Inkscape. So once you're in Inkscape, go to File and Import. We're gonna import both our moon and our twinkle okay so here's my twinkle i wonder oh no i don't think i can do both at one time no okay so let's insert our twinkle oops let me make myself smaller and then also insert my moon or import my moon okay so i'm gonna make both oh hold on let me undo that um, this file is not locked yet. So you want to lock it. So when you make it bigger, it's bigger proportionately up and down and same thing with twinkle twinkle. 
Let's make it really big so we can see it, okay? All right, so let's do twinkle, twinkle, for, or we should do both first, sorry. So here is the moon. I only want the shape so I can get rid of all these. So I go to path and I'm going to, oops, sorry, object, object, and I'm going to ungroup. Oh, Ella, didn't let me ungroup before. Let me see if I can break apart. That's not quite what I wanted either, but that's okay. So hold on, let me delete those two. Um, if you have just a regular moon, it would be a lot easier. Okay, here we go. I'll just get rid of this. Oh my gosh. It's like, let me see if I can grab it here. Okay, so here's our moon and our twinkle, twinkle little star. So let's just make everything big. Um, all right. So what I did was we have our cursor um nothing selected go to paint bucket oh no you know what hold on let's do our letters first so here's twink the first twinkle mm. let me do star oh my okay <laughs> let's go to object let's ungroup it so that the letters are all separated okay there we go so let's grab um the word star and I think I have everything. Okay. So let's move it over here. You want everything touching, right? Um, same thing with little. And I think I put it somewhere over here. Oops. Undo that. Grab the T. Okay. Let's move that over. And I think I put it closer to over here. And you want, everything needs to be touching to something so that um, it's not gonna fall off, right? Like every, it's, it ends up being one piece, right? So let's see. Okay, Woo. Um, I may have made some of these smaller a little bit. So I want it to touch up here. Let's make this smaller. Oh, doesn't let me do it. So once you like everything like this L, I probably would wanna move it down a little bit. It will be more stable if it's connecting an I actually want to make it bigger in general because I want it to connect top and bottom. Can you see? Uh, let's move it over a little bit. So it's touching the T down here and the W up there. Um, this E will be hanging off by itself, but so let's make it a little bit more stable and make it connect to Let's make it a little bit bigger to make it easier. And then we want it to connect both to the L and to the R. And I'm struggling with my mouse today. So I'm going to use my cursor, my arrows. Okay. So that fits. Let's see. This I should probably touch this. Oh, it's touching the T already, but let's get it to touch the L as well. And so you see, you're making just minor adjustments, okay? So everything touches. Um, this needs to go down a little bit to touch the T. Let's see. Um, maybe this N can go down. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And we're making just minor adjustments where it doesn't feel like the N is so much bigger than everything else, right? But this way, it's super stable because it's connected to the W as well as this. The K is okay because you. I don't think I had it. Yeah, I didn't have it connect to anything, but I had this E connect. So let's move it down, make it a little bit bigger. Maybe make this L just a little bit bigger. There. So you see how everything's kind of touching in multiple places, right? So if you like everything the way it is, let's get this S to touch the bottom down here. Okay, so now that we like everything, what you're going to do is um, let's do just this moon 
So you see the moon, it has this cutout. So we want to do, we want to make it smaller. We want to shrink it. So we want one layer that's shrunk. <laughs> so let's click here so nothing is highlighted, right? So if you click your cursor in the open space, um, then nothing is selected. You want to go to your paint bucket and then pick any color. And then in grow is right now it has grow by 30. Let's shrink it by negative 20. So when you put the negative, it's shrink and then click on your moon. So that gives us that offset that we need so that when we go into design space, we can slice it out. And then that way you can have uh, an opening to put your sequins in. Okay. All right. So now we're good. Click the arrow key, click in the white space so that nothing's selected. We're going to go to our paint bucket, pick a another color and this time we are going to and i'm gonna hold on i'm gonna move this moon out of the way and this moon so that the moon is separated from the letters we'll merge them in design space that just gives us more options okay so now what we want to do is click the paint bucket click on a different color and now we're going to grow everything by 20. Okay, so click on the moon and so the moon got bigger right and then we're going to click on twinkle twinkle and the whole thing got bigger um go ahead and click on the hearts okay don't worry about this little space click in the arrow click in the white space paint bucket and pick a different color and then we're going to grow by 40 this time so we're doing two layers and then click on the moon and click on this all right, we're done, okay? So now get your arrow, grab this whole thing, go to path, object to path, then file, save as, and you're gonna save it as, I've already saved it, um, but save it as whatever, remember it, we gotta upload it into design space. So here we are in design space. If you, I've already uploaded my files, but you would go to upload, upload image, browse, and you would find the file that you just saved, okay? And then you're going to bring it in. So let's cancel. I already have mine. Okay, so I'm going to go to upload. And here's my moon and my wording. So insert. So if you don't see it anywhere, and I've seen lots of questions about this, just go over here, click on this. And then what you'll notice is it's positioned is negative 25, so just put six. And there is our thing. So our position feature, the X and the Y, X is running across and Y is down. So in this case, we're saying, put this at 17. So it's going over X all the way to 17. And then go down 6.198. So this is the start of our image. All right, makes sense. Okay. Um, okay, so let's unlock this or ungroup it. We have our first background. So we want to contour, get rid of all these little holes. So I'm going to click hide all. If you click where the percentage is, it goes to 100. And then you can put back some of these things if you wanted to. But I think in the back of mine, I had this one. Oh, I did have some of these. These are tiny little holes. It's not a big deal. When they're super tiny, I just leave it. But that's how you use contour. I love it. Okay, so here's our back. Our next one is the yellow, right? So what I want you to do is grab the hearts over here in your right-hand panel, right-hand side panel. Um, hit shift, grab this one, grab this, and weld it. So what you have is this layer all welded. Then this you want to also weld. So now you have your offset. All perfect, right? Okay, so let's grab this, go to align and center it. So I'll center it perfectly for you and group it. I group it so that I, when it moves, because we're still adjusting our size, it will move all three layers together. So we want to do that. All right, so here's our moon. We have these two layers. Let's slice this so that we have our foam outline as well as our top layer. So it's gonna be this layer, okay? 
So put it where you like it. Then grab these two items and slice. Now remember when you're slicing, you can only slice two items at one time. So the bigger moon and the small moon, two images. So this is what happens when you slice. Now you have this beautiful cutout. So this is gonna be my top layer. So if you look at this, my top layer is silver. So I'm gonna change the color just so that we can get this to um, visually help us figure out what we have going on, okay? So we have that layer. You're gonna duplicate it though. This is gonna be our foam layer. I'm gonna make that white because I did use white foam. So that's gonna go behind, right? This is gonna be on top. And then we have this layer. Um, so we have our foam, let me move this back. So here's our foam. So here's our back layer that all the sequins are, is gonna sit on. Here's our foam, here's our top layer, and then you need to duplicate it. What you wanna do with this one is we need a full sheet of acetate that fits that. So go to contour and hide all, and that's gonna be our acetate because it's gonna sit on top, right? <laughs> okay, and that's all we have. And then we have, let's see, we have one outer layer. So that is our blue layer, uh, no. This is our silver layer. I think this is our silver layer right here. Did I not do a bigger layer? These look like they're all the same, six. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger, okay. And then that's our gray layer in the back, silver. Okay. So these are all our layers. You can get rid of all these extras. Okay, so what we wanna do now is we wanna line up. So let's go to align and center. And it doesn't look like our gray is much bigger, huh? Oops. That's the one I want. I'm trying to compare compare these two. So it is, let me see, what is our magenta? 6.23 by 6.5. Okay, so that's the problem. Our magenta layer is the back back layer. This is our second layer. That's why we can't see it. Okay, now it's making sense. All right, so now we have that. We have our, our words. And let's make this smaller so that it fits within here. Don't worry about how small it is. Just make sure that you like the alignment and then we'll shape, uh, we'll make it bigger together at the end. So it looks like, it's kind of hard to see. Let's make this bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger because I want the S to touch the back and as well as the T up here. So there, that's touching. So now everything's touching. That leaves us the gap here to put this star and this one, right? So there's a star here, a star here, and a star here. So what I did was I took two stars and let's send that to the front so that we can see it. Okay. And you wanna put it in here so you can see how big you can make it. You wanna make sure that when you're putting this in that it can spin because there's space there. So you can make this a little bit bigger. I'm having a hard time with my mouse today. Make it bigger, grab another set of stars. You could just do it here, figure out how big you want it. Okay, so figure out your stars. I'm struggling with that today. Make, you wanna make a front and back. So when it spins, there is no front or back. You can't tell, okay? So you're gonna need at least four stars for each set. So that way it gives you the layers and then it gives you the back, okay? 
once you have that, this is what we need to do. You need to weld the back layer. So if you see, I'm gonna make this bigger. This is my back. My back is one big thing with everything on it, the letters, the wording, and the moon. So how you do that is you grab the back of your moon. So this is the back of the moon and the words, and you're gonna weld it. That's gonna be our back layer. So when you do that, you have this, it gives you a really strong base. And that way, see, I mean, my thing is not flimsy at all. It's not falling over. It's not top heavy. It is strong because it's all one piece, okay? So this is our back layer. So arrange, send to the back. Um, that is the only thing connecting. Everything else is in pieces. So the second layer of twinkle, twinkle is its own piece. And then I did different colors and different textures. So now the way I would do it is I would just go in and change the colors so that when I go to cut this, it's a little bit easier for me to, to recognize what color I need to feed it, right? So in this case, the second layer was a blue. Um, the back back layer, the top layer is gold. And this layer, no. It's because I have so many things going on. Hold on, let me make this smaller. Let's get rid of this first one. Okay, so my back layer here is silver. silver, blue, gold. Then my moon, I had this one is blue. So you wanna just do it so that you can coordinate. The foam is white. My topmost layer is silver, and this is my acetate paper. All right, and then your stars, you can cut out extra stars because I did put some stars in here, like that one. Let's go to the Make It page so that you can, oh, hold on. If you still wanna resize this, you wanna make sure everything is back into back in its place. Okay, you grab everything and then you can size it now. So I wouldn't make this more than, I mean, you don't wanna slice it, so you wanna make sure that the back is, you know, less than 11 and a half, okay? Let's go to make it. So then this is your acetate, your foam, your backmost layer with extra stars. Uh, this is the top that goes on top of the foam, extra stars. Here's our gold, our glitter gold, our blue. And you know that you can move these, so like you can do this. Um, you can also, I think this can fit on the other page. So let's click on it. Click on the three dots, move object. We're gonna move it to this one. And let's see if we can work it so that it is all on one page. And we can, that was pretty easy, right? So instead of using two sheets, you've got one and that's it. So let me make this bigger so you can see exactly what it is. I'm gonna cancel out of here. So that you can see all the layers. I love it, but I really love these spinning stars. I hope that was helpful. Please leave comments, questions um, on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. And if you have a special project, please reach out to me and let me know. I will record a tutorial just like this, and then it will be to your exact measurement so that I can get, get you to learn how to do it. I think it's really hard to learn and then make the adjustments. So you're watching someone do it, but you need to make changes and you don't know how to do it. So <laughs> I will make it to your project. You will learn and you will get better and then we can grow together. All right, bye guys.